I'm wearing the shirt right now. Uh, I shall, it says, I shall not want. I'm trying to think about how to get that thing tattooed somewhere in my body where I see it all day long. Uh, because I remember singing, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And I would sing that, you know, night, night after night, day after day, sing that line. And there was another lyric rising up in me. I didn't say it out loud because that'd be weird. But the lyric was, the Lord is my shepherd, all I do is want. And I just felt like I can't, how do you say the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want when I'm like, a professional wanter. It's like, I don't have to try. I don't have to think about it. I have four young daughters. Uh, Shane has three. And uh, the last thing we ever had to teach them to do is want. Um, they came out screaming, give me this. I want this. And they're ruthless, right? They don't, I mean, it's just, they just go there and and we love to give them what they want. I mean, like, it's, it's not even a best. It's, it's, we're made to be wanting machines. And the Bible says that we have, like, so much that we have a hole. We have, we have a God-sized hole in us. And uh, Ecclesiastes said that, that uh, God has set eternity in the heart of man. Like, there's something in the heart of man that is so huge. There's only one thing that could fulfill the want of that, of that, of of inside of our hearts. And, uh, and so I just kind of went on this journey of confession of going, Lord, I just, I walk out on these stages and I want people to like me because I really do think that if they like me, it's going to make me happy. And then I, I want people to like our music and our little songs. And I want them to buy our records. Cause why? Cause it's, it's, it's going to make me happy. It's like seeing a, a, like a few hundred more likes on an Instagram post. It's like, oh man, I'm important. People like me, you know, I'm, oh, this is great. And you know, if you buy our records, it's not going to make me happy. It's going to feed my daughters. but it's not gonna make me happy. Like it really isn't. And just I went on this whole uh, journey of, of just confessing my wants. And it was really good for me. Like this song really just opened up my heart to go, golly, I just, I want this and I want this and I want this and just a few hundred more dollars and just a, a, a few hundred more likes and just a bigger platform. And for these folks to think this about me and all of that and just confessing to the Lord, that's just never going to work. And just coming to the re realization that I know the shepherd, like I know him. I really do. It's, just, it's not like a game. It's not just something I was culturally raised in. Like I know him, I have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And if I can go, if I can look at the pages of scripture from front to end, and there is a treasure found in knowing Christ Jesus, right? Paul basically quotes Psalm 23. I consider all things as rubbish compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, even in the valley of the shadow of death. I mean, the context where Paul said that was not a pretty context. Even in the valley of the shadow of death, when all's going wrong, it's gonna be okay. Why? Because he's there with you. And I have everything I could ever need. So this song has changed my marriage. This song has changed my friendships. This song has changed the stage for me because I can serve folks. I can serve my wife. I'm not good at it. That's why I wanna wear the shirt because it's like, this is an everyday thing. This is not like, oh, okay, I get that. The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want. I'm never gonna want anymore. <laughs> this is great. It's not like that. It's like every day my, I wake up with a stone cold heart that needs to remember, I have everything I could ever want in knowing Jesus. I have my return. I'm not looking for a return in you. I'm not looking for a return in you. I'm not looking for a return in what I do. I have my return. So there's no, uh, there's no next level for me. I mean, what's the next level when you know God? I'm his kid. I, everything he owns is mine. It, namely, I get to 
look at his face just in a little while. And I get to be his and I get to reign with him. It's just nuts. And so I can wake up and go, I'm free to serve you, Beth. And if I can remember that I'm, I don't need anything from you. Like I'm free to lay down my life for you. Like Christ laid his life down for me because I have my return in him. I don't need a return from you. And so it's just been a really transforming song for us. Uh, uh, just a simple song. And that's just verse one. I mean, you get into like, you know, the thing, just thinking about his goodness and mercy and how it never goes away. And I've had some bad days of, of uh, people I really love dying and, and uh, just some really hard days and realizing that those days, his goodness and mercy didn't go away. Um, that his goodness and mercy remain. And there, there won't be a moment in my life that, that as a child of God, not even a second that will have God's wrath or disappointment um, on me, that grace and mercy are covering me and following me because of Jesus. Not because I deserve it or because I've done anything good, but because he's lavished his grace on me and all of his righteousness has been transferred to me. And uh, he made him who knew no sin to be sin on my behalf so that I could be the righteousness of God and I could enjoy the grace and mercy offered all the days of my life, all the days of my life. So there's just a freeing, there's a light load that that comes with. I can live in the, in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, I can, I can live uh, with a lightness. I've, my, I sat in a room with my dad, they turned off the machines, they pronounced him dead. It was the most horrible, painful room I've ever been in. But the, the peace of God and the grace and mercy of God was as thick as I've ever known it. And so it, uh, you know, that tension there um, is real for us who cling to these promises. And so Psalm 23 has been a good one.